Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Fatima. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my skincare routine. That's great for people with hyperpigmentation. My skin is on the drier side, so I have relatively dry skin. I'd say I have pretty good skin, what people might consider good skin. And that's um, partly because of genetics. And then I, I'd say about 50% of that is due to all the products I use. So. I used to deal with like severe hyperpigmentation and I tried to fix that with tretinoin and if anyone knows tretinoin is quite strong and it, I used I think 0. Point, um, I used 1 percent tret so that's really strong I didn't know what I was doing and I burnt my skin I got really bad chemical burns and I tried everything to fix it and nothing worked so I went to an esthetician she was online, her name's LA Beautyologist, you might know her, she's pretty popular in the skincare space and she saved my skin. She gave me like a whole like sort of prescription of skincare products. It was it was over the counter, it wasn't like um, medical grade, but she literally saved my skin. We, my skin wouldn't be where it's at today without her. I'm just gonna get started. I always start off by washing my hands first because as we all know, your hands carry a lot of germs and you don't want to go in working like on your face with dirty hands. So I'm just going to do that right now. Uh, I go in with one of these. It depends on what I'm going for. One thing that the esthetician stated was that it's important to properly exfoliate your skin. This is, this is a cleanser that contains salicylic acid, so it's great for, I guess, resurfacing um, and like skin cell turnover and stuff like that. So this face wash is the Kakadu C Brightening Daily Cleanser Toner and Makeup Remover. It's amazing. I don't like to use this when my skin is sensitive. So right now it's a bit on the sensitive side because I did use retinol last night. And um, this is the second cleanser that I have. It's the Youth to the People Cleanser and it's the kale and green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser this is very nice it's very calming and it um it smells really nice as well and it's very gentle so that's why i'm going in with this and not the other one that one is it, it's not harsh i just don't want to irritate my skin too much so i'm just gonna go in and wet my face And then I'm gonna go in with one pump of the cleanser. You wanna cleanse your face for about a minute because it's important to first of all really clean your skin and also make sure the cleanser is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Because if you apply a cleanser and for like 10 seconds and rinse it off, it that's hasn't done anything for you. So I sing ABC, ABCD like twice. Like I do that twice and that's about like a minute. And then I rinse it out. The next step is toning. And I use the Polish Voice Toner, and I really like this. Sometimes I go in with this toner as well. Um, this is from Burst. It's called the Weekend Daily Brightening Solution. And honestly, this is my favorite one because it is great at reducing milia and like congestion in your pores. So I just go in with that, and I go in on like damp skin. And I gently wipe. And the reason why you see some darkness on this side is because I have a bad habit of picking at my skin. So if I see like a white head, I I can't help myself. I have to like get rid of it and that leaves a dark spot for me. But I get rid, rid of it in like two to three weeks. So it completely like disappears in like two to three weeks. But yeah, I love this product. And I use this almost I'd say like I use it at least three to four times a week because sometimes my skin is just too sensitive and I can't use it. Okay, now time for my favorite part, serums. This is by far my favorite serum of all time. It's the Eminence Organic Skin Care Bright Skin Licorice Booster Serum. It's so good. Like, I'm not even joking. It's so good. It's a bit on the pricier side. But honestly, it gives such great results. Like you will see the difference in like the dark areas of your face where pigment is is quite like um, rich, and you want to like reduce that and make your face look more 
um, unison in color. So this product will do that for you. You drop. So I do one here, here, and then I rub it in. Um, and then I go in with Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid. Uh, 2% plus B5. This is really good. It's another thing you want to make sure you're doing is um, Keeping your skin hydrated. That's important if you have hyperpigmentation So I just go in with a few drops of this also And I spread it all around and like I said, I try to work as quickly as possible And you can already see like the difference in my skin. It's like glowing. It's, I either go in with the Topicals Feta Cream or I go in with my Vitamin C Serum from uh, Cerave and honestly both of these products are amazing. I think um, today I'm going to go in with the Vitamin C. I just, I just like the feeling of all my skin. And I think they both do relatively well in terms of uh, um, what's called in terms of reducing hyperpigmentation. Um, I don't think the faded cream contains vitamin C. It contains a lot of other ingredients. Last step, well, not the last step, the second to last step. Um, I do moisturizing, and I usually go in with my Clear Skin Moisturizer from PCA Skin. I love this product. It is so good. I've been using this since like 2018 and I'm never going to replace it or get rid of it ever. Um, the other moisturizer I have is this day cream from Province Beauty. It's also really good. I like it. And um, I, I also sometimes use the La Roche-Posay um, Lipicar uh, moisturizer for my face because like I said, I have dry skin and that's very moisturizing. It's so good. So I'm just going to go with the PCA Skin Moisturizer. It's a hydrating moisturizer. It's lightweight and really moisturizing. And yeah, I need to get some more for them running out. And I just work that in. Okay. And then the final step, um, if I'm not going anywhere, I do wear my face oil. Um, it's from, it's from Ayali and Co, but they don't even, the company's closed down. So when this runs out, I need to find a new face oil. If you have any face oil recommendations, please let me know. But I do like this oil on a, a lot. I'm not going to be wearing this today. I just don't want to, but I usually go in with an oil and then my sunscreen on top. But today I'm just going to go in with my sunscreen. I'm using the sunscreen from Black Girl Sunscreen. And it's their moisturizing um, sunscreen lotion for face and body. And it's F SPF 30. Honestly, I think SPF 30 is like the best sunscreen. I don't think it's necessary to go any higher than that. I think it gets the job done because it, it blocks enough UV rays. Um, so I'm just going to go in with that. This is really moisturizing as well. It has um, jojoba and avocado oil in it. So it's really good. It doesn't leave a white cast if you work it in well. And I use like a good generous amount because it's important too. And you just go to work it in. I promise it, it blends in. <laughs> blends in. Just gotta work it in. Yeah, I think that's good. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for my morning skincare routine. My skin stays hydrated for a really long time. I do reapply the moisturizer throughout the day, but that's pretty much it. If you wanna see my nighttime skincare routine, just let me know down below. And if you do want to see any other content from me, let me know. There's more to me than my hair. Uh, trust me, I have a lot in store for you guys. And I do appreciate you guys tuning in. I will be posting a video every Sunday. So um, stay tuned. Thank you so much. Bye. Uh, and please, I forgot to mention, <laughs> please subscribe and like the video. I appreciate you. Bye.